Hey, you ready to go? Your brain is the engine before you hit the road. Gas up on knowledge, buckle up, let's go. Academic engagement and reaching your goals. Skills for life, it's your license to show. You got the keys, grab the wheel, check your map and your mirrors, optimizing your whole school experience. School Connect. <laughs> Enjoy your ride. What's going on? Why is the alarm blaring? What's up with her? Do you have a test in your next class? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so? This is really bad. Did you study? Um, not really. I hope I make good guesses. Did you need to? Yeah, for sure. Next time I promise I'll study. Looks like Amy flipped the panic button again. And what is the panic button? Whenever you're really worried about something, Amy, for amygdala, flips the panic button. If you're running from a bear, she flips the panic button. If you're late to practice, she flips the panic button. If you're about to give a presentation, she might flip the panic button. What's the panic button? Court, you're up! Also known as the stress response. <sighs> if you're in a life or death situation, the stress response can save your life. If not, it's a little overdramatic. When your stress response is triggered, your brain and body prepare to fight, flight, or freeze. Your hypothalamus triggers adrenaline and cortisol. That increases your heartbeat, breathing rate, blood pressure, and metabolism. Blood vessels widen to get your blood flowing faster, and pupils dilate to sharpen your vision. Your liver releases glucose for a jolt of energy, and you sweat to cool off. All this helps you prepare to tackle things with focus, strength, stamina, and speed. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Ugh, who's that? Oh. That's Court, for cortisol. He comes with a stress response. He thinks he's protecting you, but too much stress can be toxic. I wouldn't blow it if I were you. Huge consequences. Huge. Public humiliation. Mom's mad. Friends unfriend you. Just saying. Um, I'm having trouble focusing. Yeah, stress will do that to you. We'll talk more later about how to make the most of the stress response. Kind of like sports psychology, but... Amy is pretty much all or nothing. Um, we should leave now. If she thinks there's a threat to you, she's all in. We should really get going now. Amy is the driving force within the limbic system. She sorts through incoming information within your brain. It can come from your senses, uh, or from your own thoughts. Is that guy looking at us weird? We're so gonna fail this test. Um, is that a chill pill for her or something? X. Only X can calm her down. What? Why X? The voice of reason. Whenever she's freaking out, he helps her think it through. What's that? It's July 5th. Probably just leftover firework. I swear that guy just gave us a dirty look. Don't worry. He always looks like that. Seriously. We're so gonna fail this test. Yeah, you probably are. Maybe next time I'd choose studying instead of a video binge. So, do I really need X for all of that? Can't I just tune her out? You can try, but it's not easy. It's hard to think straight when the alarm is going off. When you feel yourself getting stressed, you can think, what would X say? Well, if I know X, he'd start with the usual. What do we know? How do we get more info? What are the risks? What are the benefits? Yeah, X can work well under pressure, if you let him. Head for that tree! I knew you could do it. Plus, Amy's not all bad. She triggers positive emotions, too. Yes! Let's go! That was cool. Got it. Any questions? No, I think I got it. Amy is like my amygdala, the emotional center of my limbic system. She's always scanning for danger. If she senses anything threatening, she hits the panic button. X, in the prefrontal cortex, usually keeps us cool. He listens to what Amy's worried about, then helps us think it through. Right. Amy runs the Emotional Impulse Center, and X runs the Rational Control Center. Both are important to you and to driving this car safely and effectively. Got it. Amy is like the Emotional Me, and X is like the Rational Me. Looks like you're ready to take this car on the road. Where do you want to go? 